Number of the day, number of the day, which number will it be? Number of the day. Today's number 10. Let's take a look. Can you find number 10 from the number shapes? Have a look. Where is it? There's number 10. Well done. Okay, so number 10 is the same as 10 fingers. That's it, you can show 10 fingers. And there's the number shape. And number 10 is the same as two fives. Double five is 10. Ah, money, a 10 pound note. And look, that's how you write the number 10. So can you think of a number that is fewer than 10? That is less than 10. And it will go here. So if you have 10 sweets and I have fewer, that might be, oh, I went with number five. And what about a number that is more than 10? Can you think of numbers that are bigger, that are greater than 10? There are lots. You can just start on 10 and count higher. I chose the number 100. Here's 10. And here's a number track. Can you find 10 and do one jump down the number track? And that will be one less. Here's 10. And if you jump down, that's one less. And if you jump along the number track here, that's one more. Ready? So one less, the number that comes one before, is the number nine. So we have nine and our number of the day, 10. And one more makes 11. Well done. This is the part whole model. These are the parts here and here. And the whole goes into the top. The whole of the number goes into the top circle. Our number is 10. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we saw that five and five make ten. So the part could be five, the part could be five, and the whole is still 10. I wonder if you can think of any other ways of making 10 using different parts. You could draw your own part whole model and explore moving objects or counters from the whole to the parts. Here's a 10 frame. One, two, three, four, five. There's always five when you fill in the top line of a 10 frame. Five in a bit, six, five in a bit, seven, eight, nine, and one more makes 
10. Well done, everyone.